This is a basic tutorial of Adobe Photoshop CS3 and what it's going to show you is uh, the layout of the program and just kind of lay the foundation for you so that way you can start exploring on your own and so that way we have some building blocks for future tutorials. What I'd like to do first is if you go to the file menu in the top left and go to new and you have some options here. I'll go over these more in depth in another tutorial, but for now, just go ahead, take the default settings, click OK, and you'll have something similar to this. Up top, we have our menus. And the file menu is where we go to open, save, uh, those type of things. We can import certain things, we can place objects from other Adobe programs um, so pretty standard we have the edit menu which will give you some options here you can notice that to the right it'll give you keyboard shortcuts uh, one thing from the edit menu that I'd like to show you uh, is at the very bottom preferences if you go to general once you start using the program a little more and get comfortable with it, you'll find that there's certain things that you, certain settings that you like, certain ones that you don't. Uh, you can also customize it for whatever um, you're, whatever uh, you're creating. So that's something to be aware of, and you can start tinkering with. In the image menu. You'll notice if you go down to adjustments, you have all your auto levels, auto contrast, all the automate, automatic, um, and very simple and basic adjustments are right there. Um, you can control image size, canvas size here. Layers uh, are obviously for working with layers select we can load selections here filters these are what Photoshop is most well known for I would say is uh, being able to apply very easy filters to get some fun effects we have different views to zoom in we do control and the plus key zoom out is control and the minus key to fit the screen we just do control and O or control and zero. All right. Um, we have our, our rulers here. Guides you can create here. Window, these control all of our panels. Our panels are located on the right side of the screen. Over here, we have all of our panels and some. Panels have different groups. So if you're ever looking for a specific panel and you don't know where it is, you can just go to the window menu and find it. A lot of beginners find that useful because it's similar to programs like Word and PowerPoint. It's more familiar with them. One panel that you'll be using extensively in Photoshop is the Layers panel. So anytime you create a new object, it'll show you what layer it is on in, in this panel. You also have some hidden panels here, different icons that you can look at. History, this shows us what step we created things if you ever need to go back and undo things. So we also have um, a brushes panel here if we want to make uh, customized brushes. Let's go over to the other side of the screen. We have our tool box over here with all of our different tools. You can start exploring and practicing with those. You notice up here we have our uh, control panel, or sometimes referred to as an options panel. Depending on what tool you're using, these options will change. So um, when you start creating 
images or editing images, you can start playing around with some of those options. And at the bottom, we have our status toolbar. I'll show you um, how big the file size is. And of course, our, our main work area, we have rulers. Um, you'll, you'll learn some of the shortcuts as you go along. Okay, um, I hope this was a, a good tutorial and look forward to posting more. Look forward to hearing some comments and getting some feedback.